Okay, so we're going to look at two um, word problems really quickly that can um, that might appear in your um, homework in Hawks. So both of these problems are simply um, a plug in problem, if you will, you're not really going to be doing a lot of algebra in these, you just need to read the problem and um, then identify which variable or which number goes in place of which variable. So let's look at the first one. Um, the population of a certain inner city is estimated to be declining according to the model this right here. Now, I want you to notice something, okay? So this right here that comes after the carrot, and I'm actually going to make it, um, oh, well, I thought I could make just one part of it a different color, but I guess I can't. Anyway, so this part that's highlighted right here is actually an exponent. And so you'll notice that you need to put that in parentheses when you're plugging it into your calculator because you actually have two different things. You have this negative 0 0.015 and you have it multiplied by T. So please make sure that you put that in parentheses. If you don't, your calculator will give you an incorrect answer. So we've got this model where T is the number of years from the present. Now this is really important because this tells you what you're gonna be plugging in. So T is the number of years from present. What does this model predict that the population will be in 22 years? Well, that's 22 years from the present. So that means that we are gonna be plugging in 22 for this little T right here. And remember, E is a button on your calculator. And so you have everything that you need. So you're gonna grab your calculator and you're gonna plug in 207,000 E raised to the negative 0 0.015 times 22. Now, um, for some of you that may have calculator issues, if it doesn't, um, if you want to, you could simplify that negative 0 0.015 times 22 before you actually plug it into your calculator. And so I've written that right here for you. That number should be negative 0.33. And then when you plug it into your calculator, you should get 148,817.21. And then there's a whole bunch more numbers, but I just stopped it right there. The reason that I stopped it right there is because if you'll go back to the instructions, it says round to the nearest person. Okay, so remember, we're talking about people here. You can't have 0.21 parts of a person. And so be really careful and pay attention because if you were around, if you're talking about money, then you would have some number after the decimal place. But since you're talking about just a plain population, you need to round that to the nearest whole number. And so we have 148,817. Okay. All right. So on this next one, we have a similar situation, but it's a different function. So you'll notice on both of these problems, they give you the equation. Well, that is good because then you don't have to come up with the equation. That's kind of nice. And so this one says we've got a function called C and it equals C zero and then one plus R raised to the T power. So once again, I want you to realize this is a carrot. So this T right here is an exponent. And it models the rise of cost um, that has a cost of CO today. That's going to be really important. Subject to average yearly inflation for an interest rate of R for T years. Okay. So, oop, sorry, we're going to do, I'm going to move that to five. I forgot to do that one. So if we are the average rate of inflation over the next five years is 2.5%, what will the um, adjusted cost of a $153 airline ticket be in five years? So this is what you have to really pay attention to is make sure you get everything in the right spot. So this is our cost today. All right, we've got a $153 airline ticket. So if you'll notice, that's our cost today and that's our CO. So we're gonna plug in 153 for CO. And then we have our one plus R. Now this R is really similar to the ones in the interest rate formulas. Remember R is 2.5%, but you must change that to a decimal. So we're gonna be plugging in 0 0.025. And then we wanna know what is this cost gonna be in five years? So that means T is going to be five. So when you plug this into your calculator, you should get 173, and I actually get 0 0.1054, blah, blah, blah. But remember, you are talking about money here, and so money is just in terms of dollars and cents. So even though they are nice here and they tell you to round to two decimal places, sometimes they may not. So please remember that if you're talking about money, there should always be two numbers after the decimal.